This is the video lesson for number 8-3, Constructions. Uh, we are going to learn how to construct a perpendicular line given through a given point on a line. Once again, if you need more help, there are videos right there to help you do that. So we're going to use a compass and a straight edge to do our first one here. So we're going to construct um, a line that's perpendicular to this line through the given point. So it's a little bit different than our perpendicular bisector. We're not cutting it in half. We just want to create a line that's perpendicular to this line through point K. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put our point on point K, our sharp point of our compass right there. And I'm going to figure out before I do this that if I make, I'm going to make an arc on both sides and I want to make sure that I have it um, narrow enough that when I swing it to both sides that I don't go off the paper. Okay, so I do. So I'm going to go ahead and make an arc here and an arc here. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to pretend like the rest of this does not exist and actually now do a perpendicular bisector. So it's gonna cut just this little portion in half, but it's not gonna cut the whole thing in half. We're just gonna pretend like that's there for a moment. So once again, we're gonna do our same steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my sharp point here at the end, go a little more than half, which is really easy to see when there's a point there now to show where half is. And this time we only have to do one above on both sides or one below on both sides. It doesn't matter. The reason being we only have to do one is because I already have a second point to connect with. So you'll see that if I go below as well, if I do below here and below there, that they're going to go through the same point. So all we need is just this one and this one, or this one and this one. We don't need both of them. I didn't do a very good job. I was off just a little bit. So make sure that you are a little more exact when you're drawing that to make sure you get it right there through that point. Okay, now the symbol that we need here is we do need this symbol right here showing us that it's perpendicular. Okay, so number two, once again, I need to measure to make sure that when I make an arc on both sides, it doesn't go off the paper. So this one's too big, so I gotta make this smaller. I can go right there on the edge if I want to. So I'm gonna make one right there, flip it around and make one right there. So now I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing the perpendicular bisector of just that little segment I just created. Go a little more than half. I'm gonna make an arc above on both sides. You could have done below as well. And then we're going to connect these two points. And then draw our box to show that they are perpendicular. Okay, number three. Once again, I'm gonna measure to make sure that I don't go off the paper on both sides. It's almost too big. So I'm going to go just a little bit more. So here we go. And then this side. So now I'm going to go more than half. And I'm going to make my arc above. and make sure you put your symbol to show that it is perpendicular. Okay, and our last one, number four. So again, I need to make sure it doesn't go off the paper when I draw my arc on both sides. I'm gonna measure it for this side because the side's shorter, making sure it's on there. It was just barely on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do right there at the end. I should have taken that off. Okay, right there at the end. And then right there. Okay, we're gonna go a little more than half. This time I'm gonna go below to show you can do that as well. So I went below there. And below there. Go ahead and 
and connect those and then put your symbol to show that they are perpendicular. Okay, now we are going to construct a perpendicular line through a given point, not on the given line. Okay, so we're gonna do this thing. We wanna make a line that's perpendicular to this line, but we're given a point not on the line, okay? So once again, there's a video if you need more help right there at the map open rep. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our point right here on that point that we've been given and we're gonna create what I call a Cyclops smiley face. So I wanna first of all just check to make sure when I make my arc that goes all the way around that it hits both, the, uh, both sides of that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go all the way around. Okay, so I just made my Cyclops smiley face right there. Okay. Now I'm going to use um, that same measure. Actually, you can shorten it. It just needs to go a little more than half. Same idea. So I'm going to make it a little bit shorter so I don't go down too far. Put your point right there that you just created. You're going to make an arc below. Same thing over here. Make an arc below. And then you're going to connect these two. And now I have a line that is perpendicular to this line and goes to that given point. And we wanna put our perpendicular symbol there. Okay, number six, gonna put our pointy part there on the point that's been given. And I need to make this big enough so that I'll cross the line when I go. So let's see, I think I got this one. So this one's gonna be kind of a small arc This is where you wanna be really exact to see kind of right where it's crossing. So it's about right there and right there is the middle of that. So I'm gonna make those two points. This will be easier to see. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna go a little more than half. We're gonna make an arc below on both sides. and then connect this point to the point that was given to us. And put our symbol to show that they are perpendicular. Okay, we have two more. So once again, we're going to make sure that this is long enough to make an arc to hit both these problems, or both these lines right there. Okay, so there we go. Okay, my point is about right there and right there. So go a little more than half. Make your arc below. And connect those two points. Make sure you draw your symbol to show that it is a 90 degree angle. Okay, and our last one like this, number eight. Okay, that's gonna work. Okay, more than half. That got a little wobbly, so I'm gonna do it again. There we go. And put your symbol to show that it's 90 degrees. Okay, the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna construct a parallel line through a given point, okay? So now we're gonna construct, we've been doing perpendicular lines, now we're gonna do parallel lines. The first step, and this one probably is the hardest one out of all of them for people to get. The first step is we are just going to make an angle. We're gonna use copy and angle 
uh, method to do this. So we're just going to make any angle through that point. Okay. So I just made an angle. You notice it goes all the way up there. Then I am going to take my point here and I'm going to make an arc. I want this arc to be between this. So I need to make this a little bit smaller. So I want it to be between the point, these two points. So I'm going to make an arc there. Now I'm going to transfer this point to right here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. You have to be very exact on this or it does not work. Make the same arc. So just so you guys realize that this point corresponds to this point. So what I did was I put my point here, I made an arc, and then I put my point here and made an arc. Now I'm going to measure the distance between this point and this point, just like I was copying an angle. So I've got my distance there. Now I'm going to transfer this one up to here. So if you'll notice that this point corresponds to this point. Okay, so let me show you one more time. What I did was I put this right here and I measured, then I moved this up here and I made that. And now you're going to connect these two points. Put an arrow at both ends. And I just create a line that's parallel to the given line through the given point. Now, we also need to show our symbol to show that these two are, are parallel. There's a couple different ways you can do it. First of all, if you put just two red arrows like that on both of them, that shows that they're parallel. The other way to do it, um, and I'll do it on this side, you only have to do one or the other, is if you just do a red arrow that's filled in like this on both of them, then that also shows that they're parallel. So you can either do this, these symbols, or this one right there. Okay, let's try number 10. So once again, we're going to make an angle. I can make it like this. I can make it like this. I just need to cut uh, cross that line. I'm going to go about right there. But if you want to go a little bit further in, you can. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my compass and I want to make an arc that's between these two. This is already kind of a good length, so I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to make an arc here. Now remember, this point and this point are the same. So I do not move it there. I go from here to here to make another arc. And does everyone see my problem? Okay, so I didn't go far enough on my line. So I've got to go back now and be very careful to make sure that I extend that line all the way. So it's always better to go further than you think you need to. Okay, now, I'm gonna go ahead and measure now the distance between this point and this point. Then once I have that, this point now is gonna be transferred up to this one. So we move this up here. We make our arc. And now we connect the two lines. Make sure you have arrows at both ends of those lines and then your symbols to show that they are parallel. Okay, on number 11, we're gonna go the other direction because it's closer to this side. Go ahead and make my angle and I'm gonna go bigger than I think I need to because I messed up on the last one and didn't. Okay. okay, we're gonna go ahead and if you wanna make sure it doesn't go off, you can always go up here and make sure that it's gonna fit before you make it the arc. Okay, so this one, 
Also, make sure you go down further than you think you need to. That's the other big issue people have is they don't go down far enough. Okay, now we're going to measure the distance between this point and this point. And then we're going to transfer that up here. Make sure you're very exact. Make our arc. Connect those two. Okay, and once again, make sure you have arrows at both ends and that you have your symbols showing that they are parallel. I prefer the double arrow, just because I think it's easier, but some people prefer the filled in one. Uh, you just need to make sure you that you see both because it's a different textbook, you use different ones. Okay, our last one, number 12. We are going to go ahead and make our angle. Once again, I can make it like this, I can make it like this. I could even go this direction if I wanted to. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go this way though, just so we do two going to the left and two going to the right. Make that longer than I think it needs to be. And I'm gonna get my compass and measure. And that's going too far, so I need to make that smaller so it goes between the two. It's right there. And then we're gonna transfer this point to the given point. Make another arc. Now we're gonna measure the distance between these two rays on the arc. It's about right there. We're going to transfer this point up to this point. Go ahead, and go ahead and draw that there. And just to make some people happy, I'll go ahead and do the red arrows filled in on this one. So you see both of them. And that is how you construct a parallel line through a given point using the copy and angle method.